What's up, Bay Area? I'm Jonathan Bloom with how to watch the Winter Olympics this weekend, Saturday, February 12th through Monday. And we start out with a brand new Olympic event, the Women's Monobob, where Kaylee Humphreys will compete for Team USA after years of competing for Team Canada. The Monobob is just what it sounds like, a bobsled with room for one. Humphreys is the reigning world champion in that event and also has some Olympic medals in the two-woman bobsled. Humphreys lives here in California by the way, so after a falling out with the Canadian team, she made it official and became a U.S. citizen just in time to compete for Team USA. I had to make the team just like any athlete would. I wasn't guaranteed a spot on the team. I had to buy a bobsled, make the team on my own fruition as any other athlete would have to. I feel so empowered and encouraged and honored to represent a country that is so grand and has so much rich history in bobsled, um, but also in the Olympics itself. And here's how to watch. Saturday, you can see the first and second runs live in primetime at 5.30 and 7.30 p.m. And Sunday, you can watch runs three and four live online starting at 5.30. Or if you're watching the Super Bowl, you can catch the final runs after the game at 7.45 on NBC. This weekend, we'll get to see lots more figure skating. It's the ice dance competition. Four pairs of skaters competing for Team USA, including the duo of Caitlin Hawaiik and Jean-Luc Baker. Now, I'd love to tell you they're from the Bay Area, but they're not. What I can tell you is when they skate onto the ice to compete this weekend, Baker will be wearing skates from the Bay Area. Baker has two different sized feet, but that's no obstacle for Avanta Boot Labs in Hayward, where every skate is handmade for a perfect fit. We take a, a mold or a casting of your foot and we create the boot around this. They've been a part of this, a part of my journey every step of the way. We, we can't do our job and we can't do our craft, our art without it. And here's how to watch. Saturday, you can watch the rhythm dance on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com live at 3 a.m. if you happen to be awake. Or you can wait till primetime and watch the replay at 5.45 p.m. Now Sunday, the free dance is also live online at a much more reasonable 5.15 p.m. And if you're watching the Super Bowl, don't worry, it'll still be going on after the game and you can catch the final group of skaters live on NBC at 7.50 or replay the whole event online anytime. In freestyle skiing, a lot of eyes are on a rising star competing for Team China, who was born in San Francisco. We're talking about Eileen Gu, who's already won her first gold medal of these games and is hoping to bring home another in the women's slope style event happening Saturday and Sunday. When you see athletes hurtling through the air during those massive jumps, you might wonder, how can they see where they're going? Well, Gu says the answer is they can't. My upper body is facing directly uphill my eyes are kind of down to the ground and I'm completely blind. That's my favorite part of the trick because it feels like this little spin whip rhythm where the gyro effect really pulls you in. And here's how to watch. Saturday, you can watch qualifying live at 6 p.m. and Sunday, the finals live at 5.30, both on Peacock and NBCOlympics.com. And both days, you can also see the event on a slight delay, qualifying Saturday at 8.30 and the final Sunday at 9.30 on NBC. In women's alpine skiing, we have three skiers with ties to Northern California getting ready for the lightning fast downhill race. Keely Cashman from Strawberry is replacing Nina O'Brien after her injury. Then there's Mo LaBelle who grew up around Lake Tahoe and Alex Wilkinson who lives in Santa Cruz. But there's no doubt all eyes will be on Michaela Schifrin who got off to a rough start but rallied back to a clean run in the Super G and says that made her feel a lot better. I proved to myself that I can and trust, I can still trust my instincts a bit, and that's really, really huge. And here's how to watch. A lot of building suspense here with the second training run scheduled for Saturday. You can watch that live online at 8 p.m. Then the big race with medals at stake live Monday on NBC at 7 p.m. It's said to be one of the most impressive winter sports venues ever built, and this weekend, the snowboarders will get their chance to show off on the massive man-made hill in Big Air. NorCal native Jamie Anderson is signed up to compete. Already a two-time Olympic gold medalist, she thought that would be enough for her, but it turns out it's not. I think when I was younger, I thought 30 was so old and I'm gonna be like retired by then, and I just turned 30, and something deep inside of me is like, Friggin' go for it. Three times to go to the Olympics is pretty huge. We are capable of more than we know. 
And here's how to watch. Qualifying starts Sunday at 5.30 p.m. and you can watch that live online. And the finals are Monday at 5.30 p.m. live on NBC. By the way, you can also catch qualifying on TV at 10.30 Sunday night after the Super Bowl. And finally, in women's hockey, Team USA has a shot to get into the gold medal game with a semifinal Sunday night or early Monday morning. Palo Alto's Hillary Knight was on the team that won the gold medal in 2018, and with a lot of those players back on the ice, she says the real X factor is how they work as a team and how they communicate without saying a word. When you play with the best players in the world, it makes the game easier. The game kind of slows down. You can sort of communicate via body language. You just know where one another is, and I think we complement each other in the best way. She scores! And here's how to watch. Depending on who wins the quarterfinals, Team USA could play at 8.10 p.m. Sunday or 5.10 a.m. on Monday. And either way, you can watch it live on Peacock or NBCOlympics.com. All that is just a fraction of what's happening this weekend, so if you don't want to miss a moment, check out NBCBayArea.com slash HowToWatch. I'll be back Monday to tell you all about the action happening in the second week of the Winter Olympics.